let us pray the angelus. Let us stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer before Mass. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come seek to the doctor of life, and cling to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance of eternal light, and for and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood in its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of his sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. Begin this holy sacrifice of the Mass in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today is Saturday and we offer this Mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Piat. We also want to greet all those who are uh, following us on our Facebook page. 
that uh, in spirit uh, they join us in our prayers and mass here at the Basilica. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let's all call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord of Mercy. Lord of Mercy. Christ Jesus, our Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of Mercy. Christ of Mercy. Lord Jesus, our Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of our intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the end of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. After the death of Jehoiada, the princess of Judah came and paid homage to King Joas. The king then listened to them. They forsook the temple of the Lord, the God of their fathers, and began to serve the sacred poles and the idols. And because of this crime of theirs, wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem. All the prophets were sent to them to convert them to the Lord. The people would not listen to their warnings. Then the Spirit of God possessed Zechariah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. He took his stand above the people and said to them, God says, why are you transgressing the Lord's commands so that you cannot prosper? Because you have abandoned the Lord, he has abandoned you. But they conspired against him, and at the king's order, they stoned him to death in the court of the Lord's temple. Thus, King Joas was unmindful of the devotion shown him by Jehoiada, Zechariah's father, and slew his son. And as Zechariah was dying, he said, May the Lord see and avenge. At the turn of the year, a force of Arameans came up against Joas. They invaded Judah and Jerusalem, did away with all the princes of the people, and sent all their spoil to the king of Damascus. Though the Aramean force came with few men, the Lord surrendered a very large force into their power because Judah had abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers. So punishment was meted out to Joas. After the Arameans had departed from him, leaving him in grievous suffering, his servants conspired against him because of the murder of the son of Jehoiada, the priest. He was buried in the city of David, but not in the tombs of the kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. 
Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. I will make his posterity endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. If his sons forsake my law and walk out and walk not according to my ordinances, if they violate my statutes and, and keep not my commands, forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I will punish their crime with their wrath and their guilt, guilt with stripes. Yet my mercy I will not take from him, nor will I belie my faithfulness. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Let's all stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food? and body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more than important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about clothes? Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin, but I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God was clothed on the grass, the grass of the field, which grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, for you of little faith? So do not worry and say, what are we to eat, or what are we to drink, or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows what you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day it is on evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be seated. Brothers and sisters in Christ, our orientation in our faith is that we pray. A person who does not have any faith does not pray. Prayers and faith go together. In fact, we say that the manifestation that we have our faith or we have faith, is because we pray. Nagdadasal tayo dahil meron tayong pananampalataya. Kung hindi tayo nagdadasal, wala tayong pananampalataya, di ba? And in the many prayers that we have, brothers and sisters, okay, one of the things that stands out is our desire to ask from the Lord. We ask anything from God because we believe that the God that we worship is a providential God, is a generous God, is a charitable God, is a loving God. That's why humihingi tayo 
because yung ating Panginoon, yung ating Diyos, siyang lumikha sa lahat dito sa mundo. Sabi nga ni Jesus sa Gospel, ask anything and you will receive. However, we should always ask in faith. We should always ask in faith. Today's Gospel, the Lord once again tells us that we should not worry about anything in this life. Okay? We should not worry about what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. Of course, we ask them from the Lord. But after asking that, let's, let's, let's not worry about this. No? Because the Lord, as we always say, provides. Okay? The Lord provides for His children. The Lord he provides for His creatures. No? And uh, He made the example of the birds in the sky and the grass in the field. No? They do not spin. They do not work. Yet, they live. Why? Because God provides for them. Okay? And Jesus continued to say to his disciples and to us, no? Look at the sparrows. Are you not worth more than sparrows? No? They do not also work, but they live. So in other words, brothers and sisters, is all these things are being provided by the Lord. How much more to us? who praise Him, who love Him, who adore Him, who adore Him. So this lesson in today's Gospel, brothers and sisters, tells us that first we trust in the Lord. No? We trust in the Lord because of our faith. We pray to the Lord because of our faith. No? Just have faith, just trust in the Lord, and the Lord will take care of our needs. The Lord will take care of our needs. Look at the Blessed Virgin Mary, no? When the Blessed Virgin Mary was told that she would become the mother of the Lord, she may not have totally understood what the angel told her. Hindi niya naintindihan. Pero dahil sa kanyang pananampalataya, dahil sa kanyang trust sa Panginoon, sinabi niya, I am the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. And with that, we have Jesus in our midst. Okay? So you see, brothers and sisters, when we trust God, when we put our faith in God, great things happen. Especially in the, need, in the things that we need each day to help us live our lives. Remember, what is important is that we seek first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be given you, says the Lord. So let us attune our minds, our hearts, our soul, our whole being to God. Trust Him, have faith in Him, and He will do the rest for us. That is how good our God is. God bless us all. Let us all stand. Let us all stand. The gospel calls us to be single-minded in our service of God. May our prayers to the Father express that quality of trust and devotion for every intention we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church leaders may devote themselves tirelessly to the Father week of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize the need to show care and concern for the poor and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live in complete submission to the will of God and never become anxious concerning matters that are not worth worrying about. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the love of God through the compassion of those who care for life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may share in Christ's victory over death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. As we pray for all those who we promise to pray for, especially those who we include in this Holy Mass. 
Father, we trust in you. May we never set our hearts on material things, but on your loving providence. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that these are sacrifice may become pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. We say right and just. Our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds. In the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness. As we echo our thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extend your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her daughter of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Yeah. 
Behold, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, Lord, my 
Let's all stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continuous increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericorde, Vita Ducero, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules fili eve, a te suspiramos, gementes et plentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, Filos tuos, misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis os hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made to our the promises of Christ. Let us pray, Almighty and everlasting God, by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit, you prepare the body and soul of Mary, glorious Virgin and Mother, to become the worthy dwelling place of thy Son. Grant that by her gracious intercession, in whose commemoration we rejoice, you may be delivered from present evils and from everlasting death. To the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God be with you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let's go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much to all those who joined us in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, especially those who followed us on Facebook page. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, Father. <laughs> Kneel for the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds pondering over them within me. And calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day no dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul. 
particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.